Yo guys, what's going on? Welcome back to a brand new video of Dodo's Supercard. Today, I've got a list, a compiled list, best to worst. Well, actually, we're going to do worst to the best male WrestleMania 34 cards. And then in a future video, we'll probably do the females um, worst to best. So, well, that depends on if you guys want to see it. We're going to start off with, with the worst card of WrestleMania 34, and that is, by the way, they're going to appear all over the screen. Um, their base stats, this is, um, some obviously on this list will be equal to each other, so, well, yeah. Let's, let's go through this. The worst card in the tier, worst male in the tier is Van Dango. 17,000, 6,000, 6, sorry, 17, 16, 16, 17, last dance, Van Dango, um, part of the Fashion Files, comes in as the worst male 34 card. The next card is Tyler Breeze, his Fashion File tag team partner. So, um, those are the two worst, I'm, I, I, don't, I believe they... Um, I believe they do. I, I, I didn't even pay attention if they tag. That's Big Show spoiling who the next one is. Of course they tag, right? Um, I thought they'd have cards before they tagged, so it's lucky they probably did tag. Um, coming in at the third worst card in the tier is the big man, Big Show. Yeah, he's always been trash in the tiers for a while, hasn't he? Um, next, we've got Mark Henry, world's strongest man. He comes in as the fourth worst card in the tier. After Mark Henry, we have got the great, great wrestler himself, who I believe should have a huge, huge push on in a solo run, Chad Gable. Um, great wrestler, great on the mic, great charisma, I think, and uh, Chad Gable comes in on the list. Here, next we've got his former tag team partner, Jason Jordan. Um, so... I'm not really counting, am I? I'm not like I'm not counting very well, am I? But he is the oh god, um, yeah, this female's on here, so I'm not I'm not gonna I'm not I'm not gonna keep counting where they are on the list. Next, we've got Carl Anderson. After Carl Anderson, no surprise, but his no, I'm just joking, no tag team partner. Uh, it is Gold Dust next. Um, again, some of these may be joint um, if they if they're next to each other, joint on the points. But next, we have. Uh, gold dust um, between the Good Brothers. After obviously Luke Gallows, there he is. By the way, not all of these are the same images. I had to go over, you know, um, finding all of these images. So it wasn't always easy. There's Luke Gallows. After Luke Gallows, we've got Shelton Benjamin um, right there with uh, with a nice little WrestleMania 34 card. Um, after Shelton Benjamin, we've got the Demon Kane. Um, not too good in the tier, but of course in the heroic road to glory. After Kane, we have Harper, looking uh, you know with the whole Bludgeon Brothers thing. That's really nice. After Harper, who who else but Rowan? Um, obviously, they're there. I'm probably I'm guessing they're joint on the list. After Rowan, we have got Dolph Ziggler. Um, by the way, big shout out to everyone who helped me out on Twitter and hooking me up with some pictures. Images of the cards that I didn't have, so yeah, that was really awesome. And uh, make sure you guys go do check out my Twitter. Um, and yeah, it's just awesome people. Uh, I don't remember all the names, but yeah, thank you, thank you to the people who did send me these images. After Dolph Ziggler, we've got none other than Elias. He's got a card. He didn't in he didn't in season four, so that's cool that he's got one now. Um, of course, he had a SummerSlam one, but a shame that he didn't have a Beast Monster or Titan. After Elias, we have got. The WrestleMania 34 card that is in the Road to Glory right now, and that is Shane McMahon. After Shane McMahon, Adam Cole, baby! Uh, I said that very wrong, completely off key, but uh, you know, Adam Cole, baby! It's not baby, that's not the same thing, it's Adam Cole, baby! There you go, I didn't do it right at all, I'm sorry for the, for the cringe. <laughs> so Adam Cole, next on the list we've got Bray Wyatt. Um, Bray, just Bray, yeah. Cedric Alexander comes up next, who may very well be your next um, champion, cruiserweight champion since Enzo. That's cool. Got Kyle O'Reilly next, NXT tag champ right now. Uh, nice little card there. 
Um, after that, you would expect his tag team partner. But no, again, it's Pete Dunne. Again, these may, um, someone like, for example, Kyle O'Reilly, Bobby Fish, Kyle O'Reilly, Pete Dunne, Bobby Fish, they may all be um, same overall stats. Um, so there you have Pete Dunne. After Pete Dunne, you have Bobby Fish, the second part of Undisputed Error. After that, guys, we have Baron Corbin. Did I struggle to find this image? Shout out to Tony. Thanks to you, I got this image because it was on your video. Um, so I just screenshotted that and uh, now I'm using it. So that's pretty cool. Baron Corbin comes in there. Next, we've got a absent um, who's not going to be at WrestleMania, and that is Dean Ambrose, the lunatic fringe Dean Ambrose. Um, Jinder Mahal comes in next. Um, the Maharaja. Jinder Mahal. Matt Hardy, the Woken One. Matt Hardy now says Woken in his card. I know it said it before the tier came out, but I just want to point that out. Um, next on the list, we have Rusev. Rusev Day. Oh, Rusev Day. Um, rocking the Rusev Day shirt. Pretty awesome. Next on the list, we have got... My freebie, Sheamus. Um, he is next on this list. And after Sheamus, hey, maybe some cheeky Cesaro. Well, I just realised Cesaro is actually one. The only card I forgot to mention that I didn't have actually. I, I didn't even try and find him. But Cesaro is. Um, I'm gonna check on the poll right now. Again, you guys will all be able to go see this. I just wanted to show you all the images as well. Um, no, for some reason, am I wrong? What? Sheamus and then Cesaro is all the way over there. Maybe I do have. Maybe I do have. Um, Maybe I do have Cesaro, we'll see, we'll see. Uh, next on the list is the charismatic Enigma, Jeff Hardy. That's a decent -ish image, image. I feel like he's already done one like this, but I could be wrong. Um, pretty nice one there. Bobby Roode is next with just a generic Bobby Roode image. Alistair Black, um, third card, I believe, fourth card in the game, sorry. Um, with his event card, uh, it's very blurry. I'm sorry you can't see it properly, but you can kind of get an idea. You can definitely make out his stats and make out the image, but uh, of course, blurry. Sorry about that. After Mr. Alistair Black, who I hope will be the next champion, we have got the reigning champion, Alice Andrade Cien Almas. Um, so t normally, after Andrade, okay. Do I, have, I do have Cesaro, awesome. So after Andrade, we've got Brett the Hitman Hart. Um, pretty cool card right there, rocking the glasses. I mean, there are other, there are better images, but yeah, nice that they included him in, in the tier. I mean, after all, he he's a big part of the WrestleMania history, isn't he? So next, we do have Sheamus' tag team partner, Cesaro. For some reason, they made him a lot better than Sheamus. Don't know why. Confusing that they still don't tag. Um, but yeah, Cesaro. Next we have Samoa Joe, the Samoan Submission Machine, um, also in my opinion Mr. TNA, I know that is AJ Styles, but for me Samoa Joe, mate TNA as well, there he is, he comes into the list um, just before the New Day, and uh, first member of the New Day is Xavier Woods, followed up by Big E, followed up by Booker, oh wait, Booker T's not in there, <laughs> uh, but yeah, Booker! T is um, next on there, so decent card for Booker T there, that's really good. After Booker T, we do have the third and final member of the New Day. Makes sense that they made him the best, Kofi Kingston. Okay, guys, now we are getting down into the good, the, like, can't, you know, some of the, some of the, some of the higher, the high, high, well, higher mid-tier cards. Uh, Sami Zayn, right there, a nice little Sami Zayn card. I mean, it gets just his WrestleMania 33 image, but Sami Zayn. Uh, which I'm a bit, bit annoyed that they, they're lazy with images. Uh, we've got one half of the SmackDown Tag Team Champions, Jay Uso. Then we got Jimmy Uso. Um, we got Edge um, after the Usos. And this is where I was actually going to say this is where we kind of got the elites. I mean, of course, the Usos are probably the best tag team in the WWE. But this is where we kind of get the... the Like, this is where you get start getting high tier. So, Edge, Mick... Foley with a very decent image there, probably one of his best Mick Foley images, so that's really cool. Um, after that we've got Jericho, um, he's on the list, Jericho is on the list. Um, after Jericho we've got his best buddy, or former best buddy, Kevin Owens. Yes, yes, 
Daniel Bryan is next, Mr. Yes Man himself. Unfortunately, he's wearing the suit, but it's okay. At least they, at least that's an up-to-date Daniel Bryan image, not like his event card image. That's cool. Uh, next, we have his nemesis. The Miz, so that is pretty cool, um, really, uh, again, just like every Miz card, pretty much right there, um, so that's cool. Next we have Shinsuke Nakamura, um, rocking this very nice image, actually, I really like it. Shinsuke Nakamura comes in there. Kurt Angle is next, my favourite of all time, Kurt Angle with a WrestleMania 34 card, very happy that, of course, he made the tier. Next we've got Randy. Keith Orton, um, if no one ever knew what RKO stands for, Randall Keith Orton, mind blown if you didn't know that, uh, that happened to me a couple years ago, but there you go, Randy Orton, you have the architect Seth Rollins, Finn Balor as the demon, nice, uh, pretty cool, hopefully he's not the demon at uh, Mania because that would mean him winning, next we have Braun Strowman, the monster Braun Strowman, um, after this, we've got Triple H. Um, you know, he likes to lose at WrestleMania, doesn't he? We got Ric Flair next. Uh, wouldn't be a tier. We wouldn't be a WrestleMania tier without Ric Flair, in my opinion. So very happy that he's there. Next, we've got the Big Dog, Roman Reigns. And guys, this is where we come to the five best cards. Who is number five? Who is number four? Who's number three? Who's number two? And who is number one? So at number five. It is none other than Mr. WrestleMania, Shawn Michaels. Um, obviously, I had to include him in a WrestleMania tier. Not a big fan of Shawn, but good that he got a card, of course. Next, we have the Beast Incarnate, Brock Lesnar. Again, Brock Lesnar's had cards for a while now. Couldn't exclude him. And here we go, guys. The next couple cards. Actually, I'm sorry. It wasn't the fifth. Brock Lesnar's now the fifth. Uh, Shawn Michaels, six. So this is number four. Number four is Stone Cold Steve Austin. Brilliant card there. Very good in the tier. These are the cards you kind of want to be getting. Next, we've got The Rock. Most electrifying man in sports entertainment. After this, the phenomenal one, AJ Styles. There you go. There's the AJ Styles. That's a very um, generic image for AJ. And coming in... As the best WrestleMania 34 card, it was not going to be anyone else but um, this man right here, who is actually joint with AJ Styles. But he is—I'm um, pretty sure he's got—he's got the, you know, he's, he's who you want to get basically. This, this is this is the guy you want to get. But they are, but they are both joint uh, on points. Undertaker, no one surprised. There is the Undertaker as. Um, the best with AJ Styles. So there you go guys, those are all the cards ranked worst to best. Um, I hope this video is helpful for some of you guys, I hope you get to see all the images. If you haven't yet seen them, those are as every single male card in the game. In WrestleMania 34 tier, obviously excluding the Daniel Bryan card, but if you want to go see that image, you can go see that image in the, the Road to Glory. If you guys want me to do this with the females, worst to best, drop a like on this video. Um, again, in, I will, oh, I'm going to make sure to put the, the spreadsheet in the description. Uh, the spreadsheet is extremely useful for people who want to go uh, look at it. If they just pull a card and be like, oh, where does he rank? Well, you can go look on the spreadsheet. It'll tell you where he ranks and, uh, and all that good stuff. Thank you guys for watching. Drop it a sub. Hit that notification bell. And I'll see you guys very soon for another episode of WWE Supercard. Take care, guys. Peace.